In this video, we're going to learn about the ternary operator in C++. So the ternary operator allows us to evaluate either one expression or another expression based on some condition. Let's create a program that uses the ternary operator. We'll prompt the user to enter in a grade between 0 and 100. And then we'll use the ternary operator to set a string variable to either pass or fail based on whether or not the grade is greater than or equal to 50 or not. First, we'll create a double variable called grade. Then we'll prompt the user to enter in a grade between 0 and 100. So we'll have C out, enter grade 0 to 100, colon. Then we'll take the grade that the user enters and we'll store it into the grade variable. So we'll have C in and then grade. Next, we can use the ternary operator to set a string variable to either pass or fail based on the value of the grade. So we'll have this string result is equal to, and then here we're going to have a condition. Is the grade greater than or equal to 50 or not? Then we're going to have a question mark and then pass colon fail. And this here is the ternary operator. It's called the ternary operator because it has three operands, the condition here, and then this expression and this other expression. And the way it works is that this condition is going to be evaluated to either true or false. If this condition is true, this expression is going to be evaluated. Otherwise, if this condition is false, this expression is going to be evaluated. Now, in this case, our expressions are pretty simple. It's just a string pass and the string fail. So if this condition is true, then the string pass is going to be assigned to result. If this condition is false, then the string fail is going to be assigned to result. So we could output the result. We'll have C out and then result colon. And then here we'll output the result. And we can try our program out with some pass and fail values. So we'll save, compile, and run our program. And then we'll put in a grade of, let's say, 85. And we get a result of pass. We could try it again. This time we'll enter a grade of 42, and we get fail. So it is working correctly. So the operator as a whole is itself an expression, and the expression is going to evaluate to either the string pass or the string fail in this case. The last two operands of the ternary operator are also expressions, which means we could do things like use operators within these expressions and they will be evaluated. So for example, we could concatenate on a note to the string pass when the grade is greater than or equal to 50. Maybe we could have a congratulations note. So we'll say string note is equal to comma and then congratulations for when they pass. So we can save, compile, and run the program. And if we enter in a grade of 92, we get result, pass, comma, congratulations. And that's because these operands are themselves expressions, and they will also be evaluated, including running any operations or functions within those expressions. It is possible to nest a ternary operator within a ternary operator. In other words, to use a ternary operator within a ternary operator. So for example, this expression right here could itself be another ternary operator. Generally speaking though, we avoid doing that because it can make the code more difficult to understand. In general, ternary operators are going to be useful in situations where we either want to have one value or another value based on the result of some condition. So we would use the ternary operator in situations where something is either true or not true and there's no other possibilities. So this is how we can use the ternary operator in C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.